we're going to have us a philosophical question. Sort of. Or discussion. I don't guess it's a question. Discussion. Well, don't look at that. Uh, starters don't smoke. Uh, it's bad for you. Yeah. Costs money and it's nasty. Listen to a guy harp on uh, evolution the other day, and things evolve. I'm not going to argue the science of evolution as it truly applies to what the world. Um, the world changes from year to year you know, decade to decade, century to century. So, without evolution, without changing the way things work or the way you do things or whatever, without evolving, things die off. There's, there's proof of that in historical and fossil records. I mean, we've got... Uh, the mammoth, the mastodon, uh, just, I mean, all kinds of things out there, just in North America alone. But the concept that life on planet Earth evolved from a primordial ooze is there's there is no way ever there will never be a scientific base for the conjecture there's no way I mean they can hypothesize all they want to they can throw a bunch of hypotheses together and come up with a theory albeit I don't see how they could present it as a working theory I mean, how, how do you know? You don't. So, yeah. Why would there be so many different things? if evolution was a real science. Because life itself, after it crawled out of the ooze, it was perfectly happy being what it was. Why would it change? I mean, if it was working, I mean, the stuff that existed back in when the dawn of time or whatever, why would it not still be existing today? I mean, um, I just, I can't, there's, there's too many holes in the evolution thing. And granted, from a scientific standpoint, there's a lot of holes in the creation. But, if you think about it, and I mean really think about it, now think about it trying to disprove one or the other. But if you think about creation, it makes a whole lot more sense than evolution. I mean, there has to be some kind of intelligent design. Why would uh, you have an ant decide to shed its wings and never be a wasp again. 
Or why would you have a... Why would a wasp develop? I mean, wasps hunt spiders for the most part. Arachnids. Why would you evolve to hunt something that had the potential to turn around and kill you and eat you? None of the mammalian predators really do that. I mean, wasps are very specific. I mean, even within the wasp, waspness, um, you got this wasp hunts this animal, and this or insect, and this and you know. Um, we got a thing right here called uh, uh, cicada wasp. Whoop. That thing got a stinger on it, quarter inch long. Um, got cow killers too. They don't hunt, but they'll knock them on the ground. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Evolution doesn't make any sense. Now, given that for the world to exist, even as it did in the day of the dinosaur, with the biodiversity, the different plants, the different insects, the different animals, because uh, mammals existed along, according to evolution and the fossil record, mammals and uh, dinosaurs existed at the same time, as well as reptiles. And everybody gets confused. They think that dinosaurs were reptiles. They're not. Are not. Whatever. Um, this all got started. Yes, because I have chickens. But anyway. The intelligent design kicks in when you realize that for everything to work the way it works, something had to be out there going, okay, um, we need, if we don't have checks and balances for everything, then one thing will take over and completely destroy everything else. Um, and that'll be the end of that. So it it just it just doesn't doesn't work. So if you if something was like okay if we do this we can make everything work together. Everything support one another. Even Stick with me on this. Even the things that go out there and viciously kill and consume other animals actually help the other animals. Because the lion doesn't walk or sneak up on a herd of uh, wildebeest. Yes, yeah, real animal. And say, look at that big, strong bull. Let's go devour it. Because it's the bestest trophy out there. The lions walk up and they go, okay, that one over there has got a sore foot and it's lagging behind. Let's take it out and we'll eat it. They don't know that they're helping the wildebeest. They're just getting the easiest meal. Yeah, I don't, don't buy into the... Uh, evolution. Something, something intelligent beyond our comprehension. Something that if we're lucky one day we'll understand. It brought everything into existence. It made life the way it is. go ahead and welcome other people's comments on this. Uh, and 
You know, what do you think? You think it was some living mud or whatever? And it, you know, after the first, you know, couple of billion years or whatever, said, you know what, I'm tired of being living mud. I'm going to be a, an oxygen generating plant. And it just magically worked on the cellular and genetic level all by itself for the next million years to go from being bleep, that's alive to a giant mushroom looking rock that was right on the edge of the ocean making oxygen so that one of them a little bit later that I said I'm tired of being an oxygen bearing plant and I'm going to be a uh, armor plated swimming scorpion thing. I don't know what this it's just silly to me. It's cool. I like reading about that stuff. But uh, it's like I like reading science fiction fantasy dogs too. Slick. Anyway, comment, tell me what you think. Don't be a jerk. Ain't no reason to be a jerk about it. But, uh, you know, this is an open forum for civilized discussion. Yeah, that's it. Bye.